Good evening everyone. This is Master Coach A coming in live from Dicap Coffee Republic, the home of certified life coaches here in the Philippines with Global Rich. Good evening guests. We are a 24 by 7 coaching hub. We are up all night to provide coaching services on demand just in case you need it when you need it we're available 24 hours seven days a week if you are one person who don't want to sleep on your anger you don't want to sleep on your problems you don't want to sleep on your stress you don't want to sleep on your disappointments or stress for today we invite you to come over at Tika coffee republic and have a conversation with a certified life coach. We offer complimentary coaching sessions so you don't have to worry about the fees. So if you need to speak with someone, just come over any time of the night, any time of the day. And you can also have your coffee, you can have your dessert, have a meal with us, but you can simply come over and have a conversation that will change that life of yours. Today is Thursday, Strengthening Thursday. You're joining me for Coaching for the Soul. And the day today is 0 to 2020 exactly 18 days ago 020220 we started operating in this new place isn't it interesting that exactly 18 days ago okay as we started this place we're back tonight okay it's interesting to note that back to back both dates okay have three zeros and three twos what a coincidence what about i don't know about you um, not to be very mystical about it, but I believe tonight's talk is for you. I believe this talk tonight is a history that you can mark in your life. We started, if you're watching online, if you're joining me online, mark this because very seldom, I don't know if in your lifetime you'll have the same date as like this. Okay, um, we're both privileged, we're blessed, okay, for those of you who joined us 18 days ago, we had 020220 and now we're having 02020, it's a beautiful number and again, not to be mystical about it, but mark this in your history, mark this in your calendar because I believe tonight you're going to be able to unearth something that you have never discovered about yourself. Yes. Okay, so not a lot of times that I'm able to speak um, in a very intimate setting. Most of the time, there's a lot of people in front of me. But when I'm given an opportunity to speak intimately um, with select guests, with people like you, I would always honor that it's one of the rare moments in my life where the message is so profound that it's only made available online and both present to very few people. It's beautiful that tonight I'm going to be given an opportunity to speak to you from my heart to your heart. And I'd like to ask all you, all of you on floor guests, to be ready. For those of you online, if this is the first time you're meeting me, I am Coach A. I'm a certified life coach. I am on my year three of doing professional coaching, okay? And I have with me right now on floor, as we are going, coming in live, certified life coaches also in the house, okay? I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, I do group coaching, I do workshops, I do talks like this, and you can visit and join my episode live every Tuesday for Kapiha Night and every Thursday for Coaching for the Soul. Weekly, okay, you can meet me here, okay? Not only here, but you can also meet me online, but I prefer that you see us face-to-face -face because if you visit the coffee shop, there are other life coaches in the house that you can meet. Our coffee house, okay, our coaching hub is also being served by certified life coaches in the house. So we have Coach Mon right now, we have Coach MJ, uh, si Pao Umuina, but we have Coach Janet. And for the night duty, you will be able to meet Coach Clint and Coach Candy Ten. Yes! Okay. If you want to catch the replay, please check out our my YouTube channel, Coach A. So be sure to subscribe so you get notified whenever a new video, a new um, learning class is uploaded. I also represent the Global Institute for Coaches and Entrepreneurs that is based in Dallas, Texas, USA. Um, I conduct face-to-face -face certification classes and by far so far, we are the only institute that offer face-to-face -face certification class with international certificate and global accreditations. And tomorrow, we're coming in for batch 38 
All right. So right now we're having, we have already, a we are already a tribe of 263 certified life coaches here in the Philippines. And tomorrow we're birthing another certified, uh, another coaches, another change agents. We're starting with day one tomorrow and day two on Saturday. We still have slots available. So just in case, okay, just in case. You are one person who wants to make a difference by helping other people. You want to monetize your talent, your gifts. And this is the time in your life that you want to live the life that you want. And you want to make your passion the focal, the center of the things that you want to do. Meaning to say, you have already come into a season of your life that you want to focus and you want to do what makes your heart sing. So we invite you to come and join us and visit and get in touch with Coach Rizal 0917-586-1661. Once again, if you're needing life coaching services, come and visit the Cup Coffee Republic any time of the day. We are located in our new hub, in our new place. This is a long pioneer. Um, corner Bigston and United um, United Streets, Capitolio Pasig City. We are across uh, Bayanian Center Uni Live inside the iconic PC Supermarket Compound. So you're not gonna be lost, okay? So you get to see us immediately. But just in case um, you get lost, just call Coach Rizel 0917586-1661. Again, tonight you're joining me for Coaching for the Soul, and our topic is. Timer is on. So, what comes to your mind when you hear the word timer? What comes to your mind? If, especially if you hear the timer is on. What comes to your mind? Rush. Galaw, galaw. Okay, if you're watching online, okay, give me some emoji. How do you feel? Could you please express when you hear the word, the timer is on. Rush. How do you feel? Your days are up. <laughs> the days are number. Ano ba? Pressure. Panic. Come on. What comes to your mind? How are you reacting? And immediately, pag sinabihan ka, ba nakaupo ka? Timer is on. Excitement. Huh? Excitement. Binabantayan. Okay. Are you Coach Rizel? Alert. Alert. Okay. Rush, rush. Rush, rush. Baka si Coach Rod, kahit walang timer, rush, rush lang. <laughs> Naisip ko lang. Okay. <laughs> Panicking. Okay. Coach Ram, timer is on. Immediate. Immediate. Ending. Huh? Ending. Ending. Okay, tama. Okay, ending. Limited. Limited. Okay, time. Okay, naka-time. Okay. What is a timer, by the way? Before we went online, um, we had this activity and asked my on-floor guests to set a timer to 60 seconds, one minute, and picture themselves, okay, they're about to present themselves in an iconic event where they, this is already the time where they will be acknowledged for all the things that they've done in their lives. And uh, maybe you want to do this after the, the episode, after my live, okay, you, you may want to, to set a timer for 60 seconds, for one minute, and try to picture how do you want yourself to be introduced when it's towards the end of your life like you you've done this you've accomplished a lot you've got your grandchildren so you've got all your dreams set up you've got your dream business set up your dream ministry your dream organizations your foundations are all there and this is the day that they would like to acknowledge you they would like to honor you and this is also the day that you want to acknowledge and honor those people who made it possible for you how do you want yourself to be introduced how would you introduce yourself so maybe you'd want to do this um 60 seconds Okay, so what is a timer, by the way? Timer is on. We're going to put something on tonight. So what is a timer? Represents duration. Represent durations. Countdown. Countdown. Beautiful. Deadline. 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 Okay. Limits. Reset. There is an objective that you need to, to hit for a specific... There is an objective. Yeah. Okay. Pag IT, ano timer coach? Synchronization. Synchronization. <laughs> Ayan na. Ano na. Tama. Yeah, it has to synchronize because of the interval. Okay, coach Candy. Timer po. Timer, timer, timer. What's a timer? Can you give me a comment in there? What's a timer? If you're watching this on a replay, okay. Measurement. Okay. I would really encourage that you watch an HD version of this on a YouTube channel, okay? This is better, okay? Measurement. Coaches mean? Measurement of elapsed time. 
measurement of a lifespan. Okay, a timer is a specialized type of clock. It's a clock. Okay, a timer is a specialized type of clock used for measuring specific time intervals. Okay, so it's a specialized type of clock used to measure specific time intervals. Now, the purpose is, this is actually a control device. Okay? It is a control device that outputs a signal. Okay? Kaya sabi mo, Coach, kanina, synchronization. It is a control device that outputs a signal at a present time after an input signal is received. So, ibig sabihin nun, you put a, you, there's an input signal, there's an input signal, and then after an interval, you release an output signal. So, kung sabi ng IT, this is synchronization. Okay? So, i-drill down po natin yun mamaya. Don't mind about the, the technicalities. I just want to put a background of what a timer is. But I believe every one of you have seen a timer. Yes? Okay. So, timers can be categorized into main, two main types. Dalawa lang po yan. Number one, a timer which counts upward from zero. Zero. One, two, three. Okay, measuring elapsed time is called stopwatch. Okay, so from zero upward. Okay, ito naman. E paano po yung kabila? Baliktad. Ito naman is? Ano yung ginagawa yung kabila? Countdown. Ano yung ginagawa niya? Device which counts down from a specified time intervals, usually is called, ito yung tinatawag yung timer. Diba? You have the stopwatch and a timer. But stopwatch is also a timer. Okay? Magkaiba lang. Kasi yung, yung stopwatch, paangat. Yung timer, pababa. Yung typical na timer, ano yung typical na ginagamit nyo sa timer? Sige. Ano yung typical? Our glass. Ah, oh, pa-cellphone, cellphone nung unang panahon, wala pong cellphone. Okay, the typical timer that we know is the hourglass. Alam niyo po ba yung hourglass? Okay, ito po yung glass and then my sun. Okay, and then you wait for it to drip down. And then pag nasa baba na, babalik na rin mo. Normally when you play a games, okay? Would you, how, how many of you have experienced playing a game and you have that hourglass? How does it feel? Pressure. 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 And you become more competitive. Yeah. Okay. Actually, you focus. become... As, uh, as nothing. You get to focus. Tunnel vision. Yeah. Tunnel vision. Okay. Now, think about it. Think about it when was the last time you had a timer set on you. As in, really, ikaw. Nakaset yung timer sa sa'yo. Have you noticed you were more productive? You were more focused? You were more attentive? Attentive to what you want to accomplish? Anyone who wants to distract you, you say, forget it, I'm on a timer. Come on. When was the last time you had a timer? And when you had a timer, here in the coffee shop, we had a timer. Okay, sila Coach MJ, sila Mon, when they're doing something, they have a timer. Whatever you're doing, when the timer hits, you stop and you attend to what the timer is intended for. Okay? Now, you can observe the power of the timer as a control device through various applications. Can you recall daily what are the various applications of timer that you encounter in your life? There are four applications, basic applications of timer that you normally see daily in your life that you can identify and specifically you see how powerful the timer is. <laughs> Alarm clock na iniinus-nus natin. No, no, it's not. Whatever, come on. Okay. One, okay, one, one application of a timer is what they call the on-delay, on-delay operation. Okay. Where, okay, again, don't mind the technicalities, but I want to read this for you. It says that an on-delay operation is where the timer receives an input, okay, there's an input, and then the output signal is output, is output by switching the timer contacts after a set delay. So my delay, my input, and before you, re you see the output, my delay. Saan nyo to nakikita? 
So my input, and before you see the result, my delay. Where do you see this? Normally, you see this, those with push button signals. Saan yan? Pedestrian. You press, right? When you press, when you push that button, it does not automatically gives you the stop or the go. You push, there's an input, and there's a delay, there's a lapse before you see the output that you can proceed. Okay, so this is an on delay operation. Yes, de ba pag nag-open ka ng bolt, tap tap tap, and then you wait for a little bit before it starts to move. Or yung like mga dal, yung mga dals na winawain. Yeah. So you're okay. So that's why it's an on delay operation because you put the input, okay, and you wait for the delay for you to see the output. Many people don't want delay, right? But you see, here, the timer can make the delay. So maybe you want to start thinking, who are the timers in your life that allows you to accept delays? Oh. Okay. Number two. Another operations of a timer is what we call the off delay operation. Ah, off delay naman to. Kanina is on delay. This one is the off delay. The off delay is the output turns on at the same time as the input. However, okay, however, it takes another, okay, another delay for the switch to contact and for you to see the result. Saan nyo to nakikita? My off delay. Ilaw. Application would be the car ceiling ng kotse. When you get inside the car, nagsara ka, contact yun ng off siya, pero it will take a little while before mabata yung ilaw sa kotse. That's what you call the off delay. So nag-contact na siya, tapos na siya, nangyari na, but hindi mo pa nakikita yung effect. Kaya off delay. Okay? Yung isa kasi, nagpa-process pa talaga siya. Yung pangalawa, yung on delay, is talagang dinelay niya yung pag-release. Ito naman, tapos na siya, tsaka siya nangyari. So kung tingnan mo siya sa buhay mo, yung mga bagay na tapos na, delayed reaction ka. Nagsisimula pa lang tayo, siniset pa lang natin yung parameter. Tapos na, binabalikan mo pa. <laughs> okay, ito mas maganda. O, ito mas maganda. Meron din tinatawag na flicker operation. Flicker. Ano itsura ng flicker operation? Ano yung flicker? Ano yung flick? The operation turns on and off at a set time after an input is received. So tuloy-tuloy, on, off, on, off, on, off. Parang relasyon lang. Kayo ngayon, bukas hindi. Kayo ulit, hindi bukas. Anong nangyari? Parang hindi kayo handa si Parang wait lang. Okay, okay. Flicker, flicker. Jen, hello, hello, Jen. And then... Coach Vicky, Coach Fire, Coach Lynn. Hello, magandang gabi. Thank you for joining us. Oh, na, na, anong example ng flicker? Oh, di ba? On and off, baliban sa mga relasyon. Oh, ha? Ilaw. Ilaw? Oh, talagang gumaganyan tayo. Ilaw eh. Vinci. Ah, beauty. Ah, yung maganda, magand, anong magandang example ng flicker? Na, na makikita mo yung timer. Timer din po ang gumagalaw dito. <laughs> Sinabi ilaw eh Ang galing eh ha? On and off siya Hindi naman nag-on and off yung pintana ng kotse Yung takot mo lang pag nag-on and off yung pintana ng kotse Ito talaga si Coach Candy A beautiful ex uh, A beautiful uh, execution Of the flicker is Fountain Ano yung fountain? The water is Repeatedly released and stopped 
release and stop. So sa buhay mo, anong paulit-ulit mong kinakasabi na bawi, kinakasabi na bawi? Ko <laughs> JMJ, attach attach tayo ha. Connect na connect tayo. Oo. Batay sindi lang. Go. Atras. Regular. Nandun lang siya. Okay. So, ito yun napaka-powerful ng mga timer. Timer din niya. Okay? And the last, okay, the last application, okay, that I wanna share with you tonight is what we call the interval operation. The output turns on at the same time as the input and the output turns off. Sabay. Ibig sabihin, nirelease mo yung on, nagre-release din yung off. Automatic yun. Pero lang siyang interval. Alam mo yung application niya. Ibig sabihin, pag kinasa mo, patay na yun. Pag binaril mo, patay na yon Hindi mo lang agad nakitang patay na. Nasaan po yan? Amusement park. Yung hinuhulugan po ninyong mga rides. The rides operate for 5 minutes. And it stops. How many times you drop your coin, you drop your investment for something that you know will end? No matter what you do. Yes, Coach Rizel. <laughs> yeah. Diba? It's like you put in there, you put your effort, you put your investment, you put your time, but you know that the moment you did it, the end is there. <laughs> alam mo na, time mo yun, same, di ba? Pagkasa mo ng pagpindot mo, alam mo na yun. Alam mo na. Uh, uh, so, ilagay natin sa power ng buhay natin. Are you connecting? Okay na tayo, uwi na tayo. <laughs> okay, so, tanggalin po natin. So, apat yung diniscuss natin. We have the on delay. We've got the off delay, we got the flicker, and we got the interval operation. So, tatanggalin ko po yung tawag so you can remember it easily. Okay? We have the example of... What's the first example? The push button signals. When you cross the street, you press, you send the input, and then there's a delay. And then you see the result. But when you see that, when you see the result of what you have done, that's the only time you take action. How many times you encounter things in your life that you put an input, you needed to wait for an interval before you need you take an action. Hmm? But you put an input, you don't take an action because there is such a day that's on delay operation. It looks like delay, but truth of the matter, there is this cultivation period. It's not delay. Tama? So, so para siyang push button. It's like push button. You push it, you put the input, but you don't take the action immediately because there must be a waiting time and the signal say, take action now. Which many of you don't like. Because most of the time, we have the idea that we put the input, we get the, we take the action. So picture yourself. You push, you push, and then you cross the street immediately without waiting. Bang! What happens? <laughs> you encounter accidents, you encounter troubles, you, t you encounter Pumps and bumps. Okay. Are you watching online? Okay. Can you give me some emoji? Can you give me some comments in there? Okay. So just picture that. If that the season of your life, if that particular situation is on an on delay timer, wherein you put the inputs and you needed to take and wait for an interval for you to receive the signal, the output signal that you're ready to go. And you bypass it. You rush. There are things in your life that are like that. But, you would cross over, you would cross the street, and you encounter the troubles, you encounter the humps, you encounter the bumps, and many of you would encounter the 
black out. Mabangga ka ba kung hindi ka nag-black out? Bang. The next application is what we talk about the the off delay and the ex the example that we give I give you is the mechanism of your car. The lights in the car. Get in the car, automatic, when you close the door, okay, it's already off. But you needed to wait some time before you see the result. How many times you've done things in your life, finished, accomplished, done, but you cannot see the result. Not yet. And in your mind, it's not yet. It's not happening. But truth of the matter, it's there. It happened. It's just waiting for that. But in your mind, you struggle. In your heart, you complain. In your, in, in your thoughts, you would say, it's not happening. Truth of the matter, it already happened. It's just waiting for that moment for it to be true in your reality. But it's already happened. It already happened. In fact, tapos na yung deal. Tapos na. Hinihintay mo na lang, makita mo siya. It's like having a baby. There's already a baby. We're just waiting for that baby to be physically there. But the baby is already there. Ayo, ano oh, pinag-uusapan natin? Baby. Baby. Diba? It's there. You know that there's a baby, but you can't say, I'm so excited and I can't wait. I'm getting impatient. Baby, come out. Dead. What will be the ending? Dead. Okay. Next. The next one is the flickering operation, which is symbolized by the fountain. So, it's an on, it's an off. And it will happen at a set time. There are things in our life that you cannot control. It will take on, it will take off. There are things that is not in your hands. Gagabe, umaga is not in your hands. You will breathe life, at a certain life, at a certain time, you will not see that life anymore. Birth and death. It's there. Yes. On and off. There are things in our life that happens on and off. Your emotions, your anger. On, off. On, off. It happens regularly, depends on the triggers that you allow in your life. Are we connecting? And you are quiet. And the last is, the last is intervals. the intervals. And we talk about the rides in the amusement park. We're in, when you put on something, we invest something, when you do something, you know that the beginning and the end is already set. Okay? So, are we on understanding how you can see the power of the timer in your life? Now, let me explain to you further the mechanism of the timer and how it can be, how you can tap the same power in your life. Are you ready? Yes. Nandyan pa ba kayo? Yes. Itapikin mo lang yung katabi mo. Nandito pa tayo. Balik. <laughs> Ayan, may timer. Can you hear the timer? Okay. What makes the timer very powerful is the mechanism inside of it. And there are also four. So I gave you four operations. And there's also four mechanisms inside the timer. Are you ready? Okay. The first is the power supply. The second is the input section. The third is the output, the timing section. And the fourth is the output section. <laughs> Those bleed down sila. Okay. So let's start with the power supply. What's the power supply? Anyone? The one that gives energy. Huh? The one that gives energy. Runs the timer. Runs the timer. Power supply supplies the applied voltage. Ano ang voltage? Lagi niyo po ito naririnig. Ano po ang voltage? Ano ang voltage? Voltage is an electromotive force. It's a force. It's a force. Okay, it's a force. It's a voltage that we apply. Okay, so when you talk about the power supply, it is the voltage that you apply to the internal components for the internal components to move. So my question, what are the forces you allow in your life? 
what are the power supplies in your life? So, asan ang mga force? The force of Okay. Nasa paligid. Nasa puso. Nasa natin lahat. Let me ask you, what is the defining force in your life? Purpose. See? What's the, what is the, everything that you do in your life needs power. We talk about power. Okay? Something have to, a power must be supplied in us, right? We need to be energized. That's why we say, I, I lack energy. I want more energy. Tama? So you need that power. You need that voltage. You need that. You need that electromotive force to drive you to take action, to drive you to make a difference, to drive you to reach for your goal, to make you believe one more time that your goal, that your vision is still possible. Yay! What is that force? So what is your defining force? Have you ever thought what is your defining force? I'll share you one defining force that maybe you may want to take a look. Resourcefulness. How resourceful are you when, a, with, when ends don't seem to meet? What do you do? Do you operate using the resourcefulness, resourcefulness as a driving force or as a defining force of your life? Or you allow scarcity to be defining force in your life. When you can't see things, are you limited by scarcity? Are you limited by emptiness? Or there is this resourcefulness that defines what you want to achieve. Can you be resourceful when luck seems to be your reality? Yes, Coach Rizel, would you like to talk to me? Yes. <laughs> Yun na lang eh. MOG. Okay, can you give me MOG? Okay, people on the floor gives me MOG. Okay, if you want to share this to your timeline, to your Facebook group, okay? I'm going to be sharing with you five, okay, five forces. I think you will love this. Five forces, the five powers that you allow to come into your life. Okay, so if resourcefulness is not there, let me ask you and challenge you, what is the defining force in your life? What defines the actions that you take every day? What defines your decision? What defines your plans? What is the defining force? Okay. Power number two. Okay. What is your ultimate power? What is your ultimate power? What is this power that you need to make things happen? Coach Mix, what's your ultimate power? Tingin mo. Make miracles. Make miracles. Wow. Programmer ako sa lamang kero ako. Galing, ang galing. Magic! O palakpakan lang natin si Coach ano, or bilang galing ng kanyang live. Okay, talks about okay, the power of seven minutes. Okay, ang ganda, ang ganda. Very good. Galing, galing. Oh, speed of implementations. I na-enjoy ko yung kanyang live. Panoonin po niyo. you can find this at Live Coach Philippines, the live of Coach Orbin. Okay, watch the replay. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Especially if you are on the technical side, okay, and you start seeing a man who's talking about technicalities and mindsets and then becoming so human. It's beautiful. Yeah. Kudos. Okay, Coach Lin, voltage. Ah, ito na ang ating engineer. Voltage is the force that causes current to move. Kung sa life, these are the wise that drive us towards our dream. Ah. Engineer, yeah? Si engineer yan. Yeah, engineer. Yan talaga yung mga engineer. Okay? What do you think is the force that you can use in your life that can serve as your ultimate power? Force. Force that you need. Okay, what is that force? You know what's that? Focus. Focus. Yeah, that's what you're saying earlier. When you set the timer on, 
you set that focus, nothing matters except what I set my eye on focus. Focus is the ultimate power. Focus is the ultimate force that you can use to signal the kind of results that you want. Focus. So could you imagine all the times and moments that you don't have focus? What happened into your life? Si Rog, marami example niya. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see, what you can do in one minute, if you set your focus, as versus you can do in one hour without focus. without focus. Test it. There's nothing you can achieve. And even if it's tough time, even it's crunch time, the ultimate power that you can use, the ultimate force is focus. You can make it happen. Remember, you need a power supply for things to happen. Next, what do you think is your force to have balance in your life? Everybody talks about balance. Everybody wants balance between work, family, ministry, love life, passion, hobbies, right? So what do you think is that force that you need to have balance in your life? What is the force that could serve as a key to, your, to have a balance in your life? The force, okay? that serves as a key to balance in your life is emotional fitness. Yeah. You call it emotional fitness. Diba Coach Mix, meron kang ano tama? Emotional, emotional mastery. Yeah. That's why Coach Mix is teaching you emotional mastery. Because if you learn to master your emotions, then you have the key to balance. Yeah, that's it. When you're able to master your emotions, you can keep the balance between the things that you want to do in life. Many times we get excited about our love life, we forget our responsibilities. We get so excited with our responsibility, we forget the people we love. We get so excited with ministry, we forget that we're human and we're living on earth. We get so excited with the things of the world, we forget that we also belong to the heavenly kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What is the force, okay, that will allow you, okay, what allow you to, okay, manage, okay, the flip side of the coin, meaning when things don't work well, okay, so you expect positive, negative to happen, you accept, you accept, you you expect an approval. Disapproval happens, you expect things to happen, the other side happens. You expect forever, you come to an end. So what is that force? What is that force? You know what is that force? That is the force of certainty and uncertainty. In our lives, these forces operate. Okay, when things, think about it. When certain things happen, you react in a certain way. When uncertainty happens, you react in a certain way. These forces control your reactions. Almost instantaneously without thinking. Can you connect? Hello? <laughs> Profound. Yes, Master Coach has me. Oh, ulitin ko, ulitin ko. Certainty and uncertainty is a force that allow you to see and maneuver on the flip side of the coin. Meaning, when certainty happen, you react in a certain way. When uncertainty happen, you react almost the same in an instantaneous manner. So this force drives your life. And many times you are not mindful of these forces. And the last force that I'd like to discuss, okay, is the secret to love. 
What is the force, okay, that serves a secret to love? Everybody wants to have love, give love, receive love. What do you think is that force that drives, that supplies this? Well, yes. The human spirit. Huh? The human, human spirit. spirit? Force, force. Let's talk about the force. What force? The secret to love. Commitment. What is the secret to love? What is that force? What is that force that will drive you to achieve things out of love? Receive things from love? What is that force? Grace. Grace? <laughs> okay. Secret. Starts with letter C. 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 Connection. Oh, the force of connection. The force of connections. When you're able to connect, you develop love, you sustain love. It's connection. If you say you're in love, you lose the connections, you're done. You don't have a feeling with that person, you continuously connect with that person, you start developing a feeling. You cannot ha love someone you don't have a connection. Hey, Coach, paano yung mga artists? You still have a connection. Emotional connections. Connections. Connection is the secret to love. So what are the five forces? Resourcefulness, focus, emotional fitness, certainty, and uncertainty. And the last would be your connection. So imagine you've got this power supply, you've got this force driving your input section. So where do you think this forces brings in? What is the input sections? What is the input sections of your life, of your humanity that receives this signal? What? Your heart. Your heart. Your heart serves as the input sections. All these forces is being received by your heart. So you needed to check the condition of your heart. Is your heart ready to receive? Is your heart ready to receive and manufacture the content to be sent out? So it's the heart that receives. The content manufacturer is your heart. It's not your mind. It's your heart. The receiver of your force, the receiver of force, the receiver of signal is your heart. Before you can even think your heart already received. Many times, you stay there without thinking you know that the person is connected to you. You don't even get to think, is he connected with me? You feel that, you sense that your heart receives the connections. Mm -hmm. Making sense? Okay, so from the input sections, we send the signal to the timing section. The timing section is controlled by your mindsets. It's now your mind. Mindsets that calculate time and based on your state of energy, release a signal for you to take an action. See, walang output. Depende sa mindset. Regardless of how you receive, your, how your heart receives it, the heart manufactures a content sense into your brain, but if your brain have a different mindset, different actions, different outcome will be released. So what controls that timing section? Mindset. Your mindset. Depending on your mindset, you can say it's delay. Depending on your mindset, you can say it's preparation. Depending on your mindset, you can say I have nothing. Depending on your mindset, you can say it's coming. It's your mindset. So there is a signal, there is a force, you receive it, you man the heart manufactures it. However, your mindset, my ultimate power is my genuine self. I, I love it, Lady Jen. Do you get this? You have a force. The force is received by the input section, which is your heart. And depending on the conditions of your heart, you manufacture a content. And you send it to the timing section. And the timing section is the one that determines when you take an action. And what controls that in our lives is our mindsets. Okay? It's your mindset that says, I'm ready, I'm not ready, not yet, it's over, it's, I'm waiting. 
all the timing happens in your brain. And what happens here is out of your mindsets. And out of the mindsets, you send it to the output section. And the output section is the action that you deliver to get the results. The output section take the action. The output section sends the message out in a way that you can decipher it, in a way that you can understand it. Yes, coach or review. Are you getting this? The setting and the indicators, indications of the timers is based on its mechanism. And so the settings and the indications are in our lives is dependent on our internal mechanisms. There are forces that we allow in our lives, but depending on how ready is our, our heart to process it, to manufacture it, how ready is our mindsets to deliver the set output. That is the quality of results that you get. The timer is said to be very powerful because it's a control device. But you as a human being is more powerful. Because of all the creation, including the timer, you are more powerful. So why do you allow the timer to control you? If the timer is so powerful that it can control a lot of things that happens in our lives, and you see the same mechanism happening in our lives, you know as well that these indicators can be changed, this indicator can be calibrated, these indicators can be realign and these activators can be put off can be put on can be on delay and can be on time thank you so much for joining me tonight oh. this is master coach a signing off visit coach um coach a again on tuesday for the live episode of copy night if you need coaching see us here at the bye bye